Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Milen. I mentioned in one of my recent videos that we need to level up. We have to level up emotionally, mentally, but also physically. And one of the things we have to do is change the way we look. We need to be happy with how we look physically. And style is amazing for that. The way you take off your skin, your hair, you know, what you wear really, really matters. You don't always have to follow the trends. You know, sometimes, most of the time it's a waste of money because you end up not liking the items after a couple of months or something like that. So it's always good to stick to the basic first. At least have the basic before you invest in other pieces. My first wardrobe staple is the little black dress. And obviously, you are definitely going to agree with me that everyone needs a little black dress in the wardrobe. This one is a gem from Zara. And I picked it up recently from the sales, actually. It was $12.99. And uh, I don't know if you can see, it's literally figure hugging, very thick. And I was quite surprised with the price because it was, I think, originally £20 or £25. And it went down to twelve ninety nine. This is something I would definitely think would be like £50 in Zara. It's very simple, which just suits my style so much. And I love it so much. And uh, it's got like this little detailing here to make it much more interesting. This dress with a red lipstick and uh, heels. Even flats, you know, for summertime, for much more dress down days, it's just perfect. My next favorite basic in my wardrobe are shirts. I just love me some masculine slash feminine vibe. I get my t-shirts from the men's section and sometimes my shirts as well. So it's always good to have at least a white shirt in your wardrobe. I got this one from Zara. It's a satin shirt. But you can also go for just a simple white shirt. You know, the cotton ones. I've been wearing this so much. The color is actually going a bit off. So I need to like upgrade it a bit. But I still love it. It's definitely an amazing piece in my wardrobe. I can wear this in my with my leggings, with my skirt. Or I can just tuck it in with in one of my tailored trousers. And it'll still look good. I can wear it open and just put on like a nice jewelry it's so versatile and it's definitely a wardrobe staple and even if you don't have a white shirt even a blue shirt is definitely a wardrobe must have it's so easy to dress i got this one from the men's section in tommy hill figure i'm thinking to get a levi denim short so i can wear this open with like a little top this will be perfect for summer but i've been wearing this tucked in any type of trousers really so far and i love it so much so um yeah a blue shirt a white shirt a pink shirt as well if you don't have a bodycon top in your wardrobe honestly that should be your next piece so this is an all-rounder you can wear this you know during winter underneath your jumpers if it's too cold or you can just wear this as a top i tend to go for black first for my basic and then i invest in white cream colorful stuff you can have a sleeveless one you can have a short sleeves a long sleeve one different type of bodysuit this is perfect to define your silhouette i have two of those in my wardrobe this one's ripped and very stretchy i got this in zara like a year ago and it was not more than 15 pounds for all my working ladies or even if you're not working sometimes you really want that classy very crisp looking vibe and the tailored trousers is the perfect choice for that i got this one recently from zara and uh everyone's got this style i'll definitely leave a link below because this style came out like probably two years ago or maybe less but um, they keep coming back because people love it so much. I think everyone has got these trousers. I first picked up the black one and I love this so much. This time I decided to go for the off-white creamy color because it looks much more, you know, I just, I think it looks expensive and very, very, very chic. We're definitely going to look like we take care of ourselves, we care for ourselves and we're going to look good. So, you know, sometimes colors make all the difference. The black one is nice. I really like it. But this one definitely got so much compliment and I feel so much better. I love to wear this actually with my white shirt that I just showed you. And it looks so, so good. My little tip is that whenever I get a little stain on it, I just clean it straight away. If I can, obviously, I have water and soap around. I picked up the size medium, so I kind of size up a little bit. And this just fits perfectly. My next wardrobe basic is a blazer. We cannot make a video about wardrobe staples without having a blazer. It would not make sense. And the best shop to go to for blazers are either Zara or Mango. So um, I picked up this navy blue blazer. 
again like a year or so ago and i've been loving wearing this blazer so so much first of all the color i would say go for a black blazer for first i have so much black stuff in my wardrobe i'm making more effort to wear more colors and sometimes even if i like something black i try to look for it navy and see if it still look good the button make it look so expensive so chic definitely a wardrobe staple you need this in your wardrobe i tend to dry clean it so that it still look very fresh and uh, in great condition i bought this blazer for 50 pound or 59 pound and it's definitely worth the price the next basic in my wardrobe are these four leather leggings that everyone to my opinion should have especially the ones that are very skinny all the way to the ankles it just upgrades the simple black cotton leggings you know we are trying to look good and much more sophisticated so this is definitely an upgrade a leveling up item and still a wardrobe staple a wardrobe basic you can wear this with t-shirts with shirts you can wear this with crop tops so i tend to wear it with like top that are quite long covering my bum a little bit and i actually put them in a washing machine on gentle wash so you can definitely wash them because they're full leather so you can get away with it i've had them for at least two years or maybe more and uh, whenever they fall apart i just invest in new ones Next is another investment piece and another wardrobe basic is tailored maxi coat for winter, you know, an amazing piece that I recently purchased. I love this coat so much. It was £129 and uh, it's the Monte Co collection from Zara and I picked up the size small although I could have gone away with an extra small it's literally like a blazer but in a coat version and I love it so much little detailing on the coat make it more interesting I love these pockets these are real pockets by the way practical but it also adds to the look of it the back is just very simple and if you already have a black coat in your wardrobe you can invest in a cream one next or maybe a gray one or you definitely need to start off with a black one and uh, preferably in a structured coat like that the next item that i love in my wardrobe and i cannot live without is a bra it's a strapless bra you know you cannot go wrong with a strapless bra i actually need to upgrade my underwear collection this is 2022 so my whole collection of underwear needs an upgrade but you know you cannot go wrong with the basic you can either go for black one or anyone that fits your skin tone this is perfect but it has to be strapless and uh, this means that you're so much more free to move around i recommend going to the stores and get it fitted so you know that you have the perfect sizing and it's not going to move around too much still in the underwear department you have this shapewear this is definitely a wardrobe must have and your size does not matter it just shapes your figure even more it just makes it better much more seamless and much more flattering you know um, i've been working out and i'm working on my belly area but this has definitely helped on days where i want to go out but still wear my body gun stuff and look seamless trust me it makes a difference i actually got this one from primark for five pound i don't know if they still do this exact um style make sure you get the right size because you don't want to be uncomfortable i'm a size small in my top so i went for size small if the material is not very strong you can get away with size it down just one size down so that you can still be comfortable but still have everything very tucked in i went for this style so that it doesn't show when i wear my dresses for instance the next wardrobe staple is just an accessory and this time is a belt it's just something that just changes your outfit instantly at the moment i just have a simple tan one but it's good to have at least a black one and the tan i'm actually thinking to invest in a designer one but we're saving up it's not the right time yet and i'm very i'm happy with this one i got this one from zara again for around 20 pounds and uh, i've been loving wearing it you can buy thicker ones smaller ones the ones with more detailing on it but i just wanted to go for something basic that i know that will go easily with my outfits you can wear this over blazers as well or even over your coats to give yourself a bit more shape next you definitely need a black bag a small black bag in your wardrobe whether you're going to use it for a quick dinner or shopping or anything like that you need a black bag in your wardrobe i have my beloved gucci bag that i love so much it's a very very small bag 
but I know that it upgrades my outfit instantly. The fact that it's black, it makes it so much easy. I can just pick it up without having to think about the colors or whether it's going to go with my outfit or not. And uh, I went for the one with a bit of brassy color for a bit of statement, you know. But you can even go for an all black one. It will still look good. It also has chain. I've spoken about this bag so many times. So if you want to check out my previous videos, it's a great way. If you don't want to carry much and just carry your phone, it's perfect. On to the last two wardrobe basics, we have shoes, obviously. Your wardrobe cannot be complete without a pair of strappy heels. And I tend to go for very simple looking ones. You know, sometimes you just have the strap here and here, that's it. But this time I went for something with much more straps and I've been wearing this so much. It doesn't matter what I'm wearing, anytime I wear these strappy heels, I definitely look very feminine, very sexy, very, you know, very chic. And I love that. I just love how it just instantly changes my outfit. It doesn't matter what I'm wearing. Literally, I can wear a blue pair of jeans. I can even wear joggers. I got them for like 50 pounds, like a couple of years ago, but I'm hoping to invest in a YSL one, hopefully, or a Bottega one, you know, a black one this time. For basic, you don't always have to just go for black. You can go for cream, gray, any neutral color is still a basic, and uh, then you can invest in colorful stuff. So my next basic is a pair of white trainers. I'm pretty sure that most people have at least one pair of white trainers in the wardrobe. And I try to play around by going for the one with the black detailing. These are the Alexander McQueen trainers. I had a love-hate relationship with these trainers. Check out my review. You need at least a version of white pair of trainers in your wardrobe. I can wear them with my tailored trousers, but I can also wear them with my jeans, my leggings, my dresses. So they are a wardrobe basic, a wardrobe staple. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video, my loves. Let me know what you think will be a good wardrobe basic. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. And I hope you're having a lovely time. Take care of yourself, guys. Keep looking good. Keep upgrading yourself and uh, appreciate yourself because you're amazing, you're unique and no one can change that. I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye.